So our family is me and Steve and big sister is May, who's just turned nine, and Nina. And how old are you? Four, about to be five. So she was born in March 2020, 2020 and diagnosed with a brain tumour in June 2021. I guess things unfolded over the next few months in terms of um, Nina having some initial surgery and it's to a biopsy. I originally thought that, um, the, that that first surgery would have been enough, but unfortunately it wasn't. And so then she started chemo, um, chemotherapy, just as she, um, just a couple of weeks before her second birthday. Uh, the reality for Nina and us um, is that, you know, there's a, a bit of the tumour that remains. And so, um, will kind of need monitoring and just to check that that remains unchanged for well, for however long. Um, so I guess it feels like it will always be part of our lives really. Um, but you know, for now at the moment, things are, it, things are normal, which is amazing. Um, my name's Neil Shaw. I'm one of the oncology outreach nurses um, within the oncology team. Um, I've been in that role for around about 10 years, um, but as of December 2023, um, I changed roles and moved into a position still within the oncology outreach team, but primarily to administer chemotherapy at home to children who are eligible. Uh, this role um, has been made possible uh, because the candlelighters have agreed to fund it. So the positive benefits are that children have been able to spend more time in school, families have been able to spend more time either with their child or going to work. They haven't had to travel sometimes um, an hour and a half each way, so there are positive um, financial implications as well. So there are occasions where we've been we'll administer the chemotherapy prior to going to school, so we'll get it done first thing in the morning, or we'll plan it so that we do the chemotherapy when they come home from school. Well, Neil is absolutely brilliant. So, um, you know, regardless of what his role looked like, I guess he brought something very special to it. But I, I think, um, when I think about our experience with chemotherapy, it was just kind of, um, so fundamentally different to all of the rest of our experience of Nina's treatment. I guess there was the kind of, the practical ways in which it was different. The, you know, clearly we didn't have to go to Leeds, which is on a good run as an hour, but mostly was us driving through rush hour to get to clinic. Um, and so we didn't have that. Um, I was able to still drop Ismay at school and pick her up, which was amazing because things were so disrupted for her. Um, and that was really stressful for her about different people picking her up and um, so not having to kind of outsource that was was amazing and um, the difference of being at clinic to being at home again it's hard to kind of um, capture it all um, because it was so it just feels so different to being in a hospital environment everything about it uh, Nina was you know the treatment wherever the treatment was, was going to be difficult. And, and you still have some memories of that being tricky, don't you? Um, but being here in her own environment with her stuff around her, um, having a day that wasn't full of the stress of getting to Leeds and, you know, packing as many toys as you possibly could to occupy a two-year-old in a clinic environment, but being here with her own stuff um, just transformed the experience. Really, that moment of the treatment being administered was still really hard, but everything else about it wasn't, um, which, you know, kind of transformed a whole day of, of challenge and trickiness into just managing a very short period of, of, of the treatment. And Nina also had a much more active role in it, which I think was really helpful. Uh, Nina's sister is my when I said that we were doing this today, <coughs> and she was saying, you will make sure that you say how important it was to me. Um, because she would come home from school um, and be here for some of the treatment. And that meant that she was included in it. And 
got to see what was going on because she never came to the ward, she never came to clinic, it was all kind of us off somewhere different and so I think for Ismay getting to kind of know Neil and Neil knowing Ismay and, and that really helped her massively.